India's journey to the moon began with Chandrayaan-1, the country's first lunar mission. Launched on October 22, 2008, Chandrayaan-1 was carried into space by India's polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV on its C-11 mission. Chandrayaan-1 orbited the moon for 312 days, completing over 3400 orbits around our celestial neighbor. Chandrayaan-1 carried 11 scientific instruments. 5 Indian and 6 international. It made significant discoveries such as confirming the presence of water on the moon and detecting water ice in the North Polar region. It also provided valuable insights into the moon's surface composition. Building on the success of Chandrayaan-1, India embarked on the Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019, aiming to further expand our scientific understanding of the moon. Chandrayaan-2 consisted of an orbiter a lander Vikram and a rover Pragyan. The mission's primary objective was to achieve a soft landing on the lunar surface and deploy the rover for further surface exploration. However, despite the meticulous planning, Chandrayaan-2 faced an unexpected setback during its landing attempt. The Vikram lander deviated from its intended trajectory and contact with it was lost before touchdown when it was around 2 kilometers above the moon. The failure was attributed to a software glitch and some problems with the propulsion system causing the lander and the rover to crash on the moon's surface. After Chandrayaan 1 and 2, the Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO is gearing up for its next lunar adventure, Chandrayaan 3. Chandrayaan 3 is an upcoming robotic mission by ISRO designed to land a rover on the moon's surface. It is largely a repeat of Chandrayaan 2. The spacecraft consists of three main components: a propulsion module, a lander, and a rover. The propulsion module will transport the lander and rover to orbit around the moon. It will also continue to orbit the moon, gathering data and relaying signals, while the lander will detach and attempt to land the rover on the lunar surface. The Chandrayaan-3 mission will carry a suite of seven advanced scientific instruments. to analyze the lunar soil and study the moon's environment these instruments will help scientists gather valuable data about the surface subsurface and the presence of water ice which could be crucial for future human missions one of the most critical phases of the mission is the landing after it detaches from the propulsion module the lander will attempt to execute a precise descent and soft landing while keeping the rover safe The delicate maneuver requires precise calculations and navigation to be successful. Former ISRO chairman K. Sivan has said the landing sequence will be "quote unquote" 15 minutes of terror for ISRO officials tracking it from Earth. Once safely on the moon, the rover will commence its scientific exploration. With various instruments and cameras, it will collect and analyze data to gain deeper insights into the moon's composition and geological history. The battery on the rover is expected to last for 2 weeks. Once the battery is exhausted, the mission will end. Chandrayaan-3 represents India's commitment to exploring new frontiers and expanding our understanding of the universe. Let me take this opportunity to thank the people behind this mission the project director of chandrayaan 3 he is here veera mutuvel congratulations to you the associate project director kalpana and the mission operations director uh, shrikant and the satellite was built at your rao satellite center shankar and the director <laughs>